Always a pleasure to be joined here on Halting News for the Parenting Pulse. Julie Cole, uh, parenting blogger extraordinaire and founder of Mabel's Labels, joins me. Julie, we are going to talk about something today that so many households have gone through, and you say it is the hot topic. And unfortunately, we're going back to what we talk about in the news all the time, COVID. Yep. I think with the latest variant, a lot of families have had to deal with this finally when they thought, oh, you know, we're doing all the right things. We're avoiding it. And then this one, bam, it just came after us. And I know from personal experience, and I know you do too, Jason, Mm -hmm. um, it it impacted our family over the holidays, which made for a very low key holiday season. Um, But there were a lot of lessons I learned through it. Yeah, so obviously, you know, COVID can get into a home and then has the potential to run through the home. Now, I've been very open with it here uh, on Halton News. I did an interview with Dr. Dale Kalina last week that's available online if you want to check it out. I didn't end up spreading it to anyone, but in your household, uh, it was a bit of a different story with your kids having it. Right. And it was funny because the first thing I noticed that was that the first child who tested positive, like we are all negative. We did all the right things. I mean, we have been following the protocols. Um, And uh, as soon as the first kid tested positive, it turned into a proper witch hunt. They wanted to find out patient zero. Where did it come from? Where did, and I understand, you know, wanting to know the source so that you can mitigate spread. But if you're just trying to find the source that you can, so you can point blame and stuff. I just said to my kids, stop it. Like there's no point in pointing fingers. So let's just, we've done the right things. We followed the protocols. Let's just deal with it. Now it's in our house and stop with the witch hunt. <laughs> it's gotta be an, um, you know, an interesting dynamic getting into a household of a family and you have a fairly large family, but I mean, you know, if your kid gets it, you're a parent, you're not going to isolate from your children. Like, well, what, what would you right. recommend for parents to do? Or what have you heard parents talking about? Right. Well, this is a real struggle for parents, Jason. And this is the thing because, you know, our kids get sick and our natural thing to do is take care of them and cuddle them and have them lay in bed with you and do those things. And we're kind of being asked and it's kind of being mandated that we isolate from our kids when they're sick. And I think parents just have to do what's right for their family. I know for me, it wasn't possible. I I couldn't not take care of my sick kids. And I joke that that's probably why I've been vomited on so many times in my life, (laughs) but I can't not be with them. So I was, I took the chance and I took care of them and I had, you know, sick kids sleeping in my bed with me because they wanted mommy comfort. Um, And strangely enough, I didn't get it. And I think, you know, it's just that crazy mom immune system. Um, But I will say there was one other thing that really caught me off guard. And that was that Once we did test positive, I was surprised um, at how seriously the kids took it. Some of my younger ones were really scared. They were, they've just been two years trying to avoid it, missing hockey, not going to school. And so they built it up in their heads. So when we got it, they started saying, I don't want our family all to be in a hospital. I don't want us all to die. And I realized, wow, this has really really taken a toll on them. And I had to be like, guys, we're going to get through this. Like we're going to be okay. But this, this is how scared they were. Right. And you realize how much that narrative hadn't been playing in their heads of the last couple of years. So that was a little bit of a shock to me. And, and also the um, bit of hypochondria that came with it. Like every sneeze was like, I've got it. Or, you know, and it was, I, I kind of make it akin to when your kid comes home and they say they have head lice, you're like, all of a sudden you're so itchy. <laughs> so it kind of became that like COVID style. So that was, that was how we got through it. And I know you had to do some isolating as well, Jason. So did you like not see family? Like yours wasn't over the holidays though. No, it was just a couple weeks ago. So it's a little different with me. It's just myself and my girlfriend. But to round things out here, Julie, I mean, you've been through it firsthand. You've had, you've been talking to other parents about it. So what would you throw out there if COVID enters the home? Uh, A couple tips just to end off on for uh, for other parents out there. Yeah, I'm going to say, you know what, do what's right for your family. Obviously, follow the protocols, stay home take care, just throw on the Netflix and make sure you have lots of fluids and make sure you've got, you know, your, 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 um, 
any sort of medications that can help with any fevers or coughs or colds or regular kind of flu symptoms. And, and that will be, that will really be helpful, but just, you know, try and uh, understand that your kids are going to be a little bit scared because that was the one that threw me. So reassure them um, and take good care. And as uh, it, it's funny, somebody said to me yesterday, uh, stay positive and test negative. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to end it. Uh, Julie Cole, always a pleasure. And we'll chat with you again in a couple of weeks. Great. See you soon, Jason.